Hello friends, in the previous session we have just begun with the properties of inductors and capacitors and we have explained it thoroughly and we have done some numericals as well. So in this particular lecture, we will be starting with source free RL circuits. Alright, so now in source free RL circuits, we have to understand first what is source free. Source free means after switching, after switching, that is at t greater than 0, if the switching is happening at t equal to 0, so t greater than 0 will be after switching. Right? After switching, the source is removed from the circuit. Okay, The source is removed from the circuit and the only components which will supply energy to the source, uh, circuit will be the capacitors and inductors will supply, will supply energy. You should remember that these capacitors and inductors cannot supply energy for infinite time. Naturally, they have stored some amount of energy and they can give that amount of energy. So, it will be only for a limited time that they can supply uh, source uh, energy to the circuit. That is why capacitors and inductors, even though they can supply energy, they come under passive components. Alright. Now, in this particular circuit, at t equal to 0, we can clearly see I have marked three things here. Three points I have marked. I'll just change the color. So, this is point number 1. This is point number 2 which is here and this is point number 3. I have shown the arrow that at t greater than at t equal to 0 what happens is that initially 2 and 1 are connected at t less than 0. After the switching happens this switch moves to 3 that means 2 and 3 will be connected. So after the switching happens how the circuit will look. So after the switching happens let us redraw the circuit here. So this is 3, this is 1 and this is 2. So the circuit will look like something like this. Alright. So this will be at t greater than 0 and this is t less than 0. Alright. Anyway, I, uh, this is the meaning of the uh, switching. At t equal to 0, the switch moves from 2 to 1 to 2 to 3. Alright. So this is the circuit. Now what is our objective here? Our objective is to find a relation for the current with respect to time. Alright. Now, with this condition t less than 0, it has already achieved its steady state condition and let me call this current IL. Alright, IL. So, you know that the inductor is going to store energy and at t greater than 0, the inductor will try to supply the same amount of current. Okay. So, let me call this current as IL of t. Alright, I am calling this current as IL of t. So, I can apply a KVL here. So, my objective is to find a relation for IL of t. So, let me start from here and I am going to move like this. Okay. So, now, initially, I will get here, applying KVL, I will get R into I, alright, R into I plus L di by dt, L di by dt is equal to 0. Now, this I will I'll put it as IL. This IL means IL of T. Alright. Okay. Now, what I can do is that I can just rearrange these terms. So, what I will get here is that DIL divided by IL. Alright. Will be equal to minus R by L into DT. Okay. Now, there are many methods to solve this. We will take the simplest method in which we have to integrate both sides. So, let us do an integration on both sides. Okay. So, let us start from time is equal to 0 and a general time t. Okay. Now, what will the limits for IL? Let us assume that at time is equal to 0, this current is IL of 0. Alright. And at time t, let this current be IL of t. Okay. Now, by solving this, what I get here is that the natural logarithm of IL of t divided by IL of 0. Alright equal to minus r by l into t. This is simply integration what I have done. Now, further solving this, what do we get? We get I l of t is equal to I l 0 e power minus r by l into t. This is simple mathematics what I have done here. Okay. So, I l of t, I will write this equation once again, equals I l of 0 e power minus r by l into t. Alright. Now, this is the expression for an inductor after it is introduced as the only source in the circuit. That means, this is the equation 
for a source free rl circuit for the current which is supplied by the inductor clearly you can see if i plot this with respect to time right the graph if i plot with respect to time at t is equal to 0 what will be il of 0 il of 0 will be equal to naturally it will be at t equal to 0 this il of t will be equal to il of 0 right t is equal to 0 e power 0 equal to 1 therefore il of t is equal to il of 0 so it will be like this and it is following an exponential curve which will go like this all right so this is a simple derivation which i have done here in the next lecture i will be actually discussing what are the conclusions we can draw from this particular graph all right so in the next lecture we will be doing properties of exponential response and once we complete that we can do a number of problems related to source free rl circuits i hope you have enjoyed this short lecture the other lecture also will the next lecture also will be quite short and uh, till transient analysis gets completed most of the lectures will be short because i want you to understand the concept in each and every lecture all right so please like share and subscribe this video and i'll see you in the next lecture thank you